Alright, welcome back everybody. We're playing Metro Exodus. This will be part 5. Um, just to give a recap. So, in the last video, we were able to, to steal the train, and we found out that Anna's father is actually behind it all. And he kept it hidden from us. Uh, he kept it hidden from me, Anna, and some of the other soldiers. So he knew about the train. Um, we just exposed an enemy as well, took them out, and now we're leaving um, Moscow. So we'll jump right back into it. And if you are just first watching this or still continuing, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can be alerted as to when the next video comes out. And thank you so much for uh, joining me along this journey through Metro. Um, again, first playthrough series I've ever done, so tell me what you think, tell me what you, what you think I could improve on. I'll be sure to take all of that into consideration. Alright, let's do this. Let's jump right back into it. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Okay. Let's keep going. so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation to avoid new nuclear attacks against us. Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. And look for transmissions from the Ark. Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? He really doesn't like me. We shut Let's down do everything the jamming him. station. Shut up the guards, destroy the patrol train, and run away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial? And the case is so clear. There's no way back now. We 
which means we have to continue moving forward. What the? Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. You are you sure they care for more than just protecting the... Wait a moment, what was that? Listen if you want. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting. This guy's starting to go insane. By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. <laughs> so the guy I is always worried forward. about chicks. Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. The thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. You think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make Thank ourselves you. comfortable, I guess. But let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's call her Anna and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. About Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn, and a cruiser of uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Die, beautiful maid. Uh, sounds okay, but a cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> the action. I love it. Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's shared. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Keep exploring the train. You know what? Because I know you. Wait. Just so you know, scars and the wings. Oh, so I can go out here too. Wow, that's awesome. So I can explore the train while it's moving. That's insanely cool. Wow, that's awesome. I do want to do, I do want to do one thing right here. Um, stand right in front. I'll press F8. I do like the apocalypse filter. Let's hit that a little bit. That looks kind of cool. So what? Uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. I've been having trouble taking screenshots recently, though, so I'm not gonna bother. <clears throat> this is insanely awesome, man. Taking in all these graphics. 
They're really beautiful. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just see that. Floating buildings and such. Still a beautiful game. Still extremely beautiful. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Can I go down there? I'd like to go down there. What's this guy doing? You guys just hanging out? Pretty cool. I like how they introduced that whole thing. Alright, I'm done talking to you. I like how they introduced the, um, the weapons workbench through, um, through dialogue instead of just a little hint. It's, it's pretty cool. music I like. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I forgot it would be in Russian. Oh, so it, it speeds up the, um, it speeds up the, After all those years that's cool. In the underground, that's a good idea. The air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Alright, I think I'm going to do just a quick little part here and stop it here. For, um, what is this, part, part 5, I think? Um... Because I feel like the next the the next section is going to be um, a bit longer, so I'll keep this one short, and uh, the next section we can kind of keep as one big one big chunk. So I'll uh, see you guys in the next part. And uh, again, thank you if you're still with me on this journey through Metro Exodus. Um, stay tuned. Uh, the next part will be out shortly. I'll see you then.